Hey everyone, COE33 here. Welcome to the Upstairs Game Room, the Retro Room. And guys, if you're following the channel, you know this month is all about the Atari 2600. It's Atari month here on TGH. And the Atari collection lives up here in the Retro Room. And guys, I got it all fired up for you. I got the CRT going. Now I actually have Kung Fu on the NES on the CRT at the moment. And that's because I have my Atari 2600 hooked up downstairs because I've been streaming Atari 2600 games on original hardware all month. On Twitch and then of course I've got the pinball machine going here what's on there at the moment hotshot classic old-school EM machine and then the newest project up here guys the mini arcade replica it's a little tilt arcade with these um, oh these quarter arcades from numbskull we got the Galaga the Miss Pac-Man and the Big Doug all fired up and then the custom Mortal Kombat arcade one up that's modded and it's got a Raspberry Pi in there and it's got the Topper and the stool and the little customizer and subwoofers in there and all that good stuff. So yeah, the game room's all fired up, but that's not what we're talking about today, is it? We're talking about the Atari 2600. And guys, I love the Atari 2600. It's one of my favorite consoles to collect for and one of my favorite consoles to play. And I've accumulated quite the collection of games over the years. So why don't we just go ahead and take a look at the Atari 2600 collection. All right, guys, why don't we just get right into it? Starting at the top left there is one of the iconic games on the Atari 2600, Activision's River Raid. Love River Raid. Now, I've played most of these games this month. I've been going through, and I've cleaned and organized everything you see here and tested everything to make sure it works because it's been a while since I've come up here and like actually gone through every game and played them all. So almost every game here I've played so far, and my plan is to play every game that I have in the collection this month. And um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Boy, there's some gems. The Atari 2600, what a great system. So River Raid, recommend it. Fishing Derby, and a lot of these are Activision games right at the top left there. Frostbite, another one that I absolutely love. Checkers, below that, Decathlon. Yars Revenge, another classic on the system. Mario Brothers, Berserk, Asteroids, and Defender. Moving over, we got little Sorcerer's Apprentice action, little Mickey Mouse. That's kind of a collectible little title. And then a loose copy of Haunted House. And you can see I have a complete inbox one that I'll, look, I'll show you in a second as well. Outlaw, Sequest, Pitfall. Gotta love Pitfall. And of course, Adventure Classic. The first game that ever had an Easter egg in it. And then next to that is Lock and Chase. Now, that's actually kind of an interesting oddity. This, my understanding, is an Intellivision game that um, works on the Atari 2600 accessory that they released this actually does not work on my atari 2600 but kind of a cool little oddity so i put it on the shelf and thought yeah why not and then of course a little haunted house i wanted to have a complete box copy of this because it's such an iconic game a lot of people consider it to be the first survival horror game there's another title that some people debate whether that if not this is or if that is but uh nonetheless a great game and uh, must have in my opinion next that is laser blast Next to that is a homebrew. Got Halo 2600. Really solid homebrew. Um, I actually quite enjoyed playing that. Journey Escape is next to that. And a very cool game. Although that did, that's responsible for bankrupting um, Data Age, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> but a uh, very cool game. They spent a lot of money on the licensing, apparently, for that game. And it didn't do as well as I'd hoped. And then I got my complete in box copy of River Raid. I picked this up this month. And I've been trying to kind of add to the complete in box collection. And look how nice this copy of River Raid is. Carol Shaw, pioneer, female programmer, game developer. And uh, she knocked it out of the park with River Raid. Such a great action shooter. Next to that is Commando. I've been trying to get the Activision subset. So I've been collecting a lot of Activision games lately. And then you can kind of see the Sega games poking in the right corner there. I got Spy Hunter, Buck Rogers, Thunderground. Tag Scan, Congo Bongo, and Subscan. Another of the um, subsets that I'm going for are the Sega games. So I'm uh, not too far away from getting that subset. There aren't a whole lot of Sega games on the Atari 2600, so it's going to be fun having all of those. Moving over to the right from those Sega games, we've got uh, one more Sega game poking out here, and that's Star Trek. And then I have another homebrew, the Atari 2600 PRGE. 10th anniversary, they, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, they had a custom homebrew for the 10th anniversary show that they put on. 
And uh, I went to that, and I ran. First stop I made was getting to that booth and picking one of those up because there weren't that many of them. So really happy to have that in the collection. Next to the PRGX uh, homebrew is the Supercharger, a really kind of funky accessory for the 2600 that if you have a tape player and you have these uh, tapes, you can get a little like enhanced gameplay. This is Phaser Patrol. And uh, just kind of a quirky oddity from the 2600 era. And then I got my complete in box Star Raiders, and that has a little control and the overlay and all that stuff. So really cool. Another kind of funky Atari 2600. Um, there's a lot of kind of quirky uh, peripherals and games from that era, and I love collecting that kind of stuff. Moving down from there and starting from the left and working our way right. Oh, and by the way, that Atari sign, guys, I forgot to mention that. I got this on Etsy, and it's a 3D printed Atari sign, and I thought that would look real cool on the shelf. I have a NES one for the NES, or actually, excuse me, I have a Nintendo sign for the Nintendo shelf and a Sega one for the Sega shelf as well. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up an Atari one for the Atari shelf. <laughs> Only makes sense, right? So yeah, starting from the left and working our way right, guys. Uh, you can see Porky's there. Now, another talk about quirky Atari 2600 games. The fact that a movie like Porky's got its own game, I think, is pretty funny. As a lot of you probably know, that's a pretty raunchy comedy from the 70s. Below that, and actually next in front of it, is a um, little miniature kind of cocktail arcade cabinet. I don't even know what's this plane. I forget. It's been so long. Uh, it's got Pong. So there's a little Pong action on there. So that's kind of cool. Perfect that it's with Atari 2600 games. huh? Below that is Centipede, Towering Inferno, Speedway 2, Video Chess, Video Pinball. Moving to the right, we got Pitfall 2, one of my favorite games on the system. That has some iconic background music and really good um, platforming action. Uh, we got Big Birds, Big Catch below that, or Egg Catch, excuse me. Um, below that is MASH. You can't really see that it doesn't have a proper end label, but that's MASH. And then Sword Quest um, Fire World and Sword Quest Earth World. I would love to get Sword Quest Water World, but it's kind of spendy. Rampage, another awesome Activision game, kind of a late release. Below that is a kind of nostalgic game for me, Barnstorming. I used to play that a lot as a kid. Space Shuttle. And then we got Coconuts and Centipede. Um, I have two centipedes. Look at that. How about that? <laughs> and then a really nice pickup from this month. This was pretty spendy, but as I said, I'm trying to complete the Activision subset, and I'm getting pretty close. I picked up Beam Riders. So, yeah, one of the great shooters on the system, and one of the great Activision games, in my opinion. I absolutely love Beam Riders. That was a recommendation from my bud, Levid the Retro Gamer. Guys, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description below. If you like uh, retro gaming, which I know most of you do, go check him out. Awesome channel. Below that is Skiing, and then we got Space War. Pong Sports, Space Invaders, and Superman. Moving over, we got Ghostbusters and a couple of quirky games here. We got Plaque Attack, Crackpots, and Oink. All three of those are a hoot. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I played all those this month and had a good time with each one. I think out of those three, Crackpots is probably my favorite. And then we got Math Grand Prix and Double Dunk. Moving over, a game that really pushes the limits of what the Atari 2600 can do graphically and gameplay-wise, Kung Fu Master. Really good port of Kung Fu. And uh, super impressive. A lot of fun. Good gameplay. Below that is Bridge, Indy 500, Dig Dug, Brain Games, 3D, Tic-Tac-Toe. Moving over, we got Sea Hunt, Chase, Capture, Maze Craze, another Maze Craze, a variant, Target Fun, Casino, and Football. Moving over to the left, starting at the top, working our way down, Dragster, Freeway, Chopper Command, and Grand Prix, more awesome Activision games, Street Racer, Solaris, Breakaway 4, Super Breakout, Breakout, and Canyon Bomber, and then you can see Jungle Hunt peeking out there, and um, that's one of my favorite games on the system. I love Jungle Hunt. Such an iconic game. Kind of like Pitfall, very similar, um, and I love both of them. We've got Skateboarding, Space Jockey, Gopher, Commando Raid, and Name This Game. And then I believe, are there games in between? No, okay. Sometimes I store little random games in between the crevices there, but no. Laser Blast, Boxing, another Boxing, two variants there. Um, a great sports game for the system, Ice Hockey. That plays really well, and uh, I was enjoying playing Ice Hockey earlier in the month. Space Invaders, of course. You know, Space Invaders was one of the biggest games of all time. Actually, it was the biggest game of all time. And um, that's like the first licensed 
um, video game for home consoles, Space Invaders. That was a big deal. That was a selling point for the Atari 2600. The fact that they had a Space Invaders port on their system was a big deal back in the day. Surround, Fast Food, Kangaroo, Demons to Diamonds, love that title, Pac-Man. Moving down from there, guys, and sorry about the camera angle, but this is as low as my tripod goes. Now, to the left there, you can see my Atari 2600 compendium, and I've been reading that all month. I'm about halfway through so far as of filming this video, and I can't recommend that book enough. It's incredible. Really love it. I picked it up from uh, Bitmap Books on um, Amazon. I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description if you guys are interested, because I really do recommend it. It's a beautiful book. And it's super, like the information in it is really well presented and I've learned so much from it that I can't recommend it enough. So getting back to the games here, guys, I got a copy of Dolphin barely peeking out above Turmoil there. And that's a, a fun game. I like Dolphin quite a bit. Another quirky title, but it plays really well and I recommend it. Turmoil, Warlords, a little Raiders of the Lost Ark, Joust, E.T., the infamous E.T., Junior Pac-Man, Backgammon, Missile Command, Vanguard, a little Star Master, Sky Jinx, Stampede, Spider Fighter. Such a great shooter on the system. I love Spider Fighter. And Mega Mania, two games that often get compared to each other. Um, but uh, yeah, those two, I like Spider Fighter, but a lot of people consider Mega Mania to be one of the great games on the console. I like it. Um, it's not quite as, in my mind, as good as Spider Fighter, but I know that's generally... The opposite, the other way around. Most people would say Mega Mania. Kaboom, of course, the iconic Kaboom that uses the, the paddle controllers. Such a great game. Ward Zapper, bowling, tennis, summer games. And I do have a couple games hiding here. What do we got? We got, what is this, Snack and Pack? And what is this? Squeeze Box. Gosh, I don't think I've played Squeeze Box. I'll have to try that. Up there is Enduro, and then the Human Cannonball. Now, I got a bunch of these games here at uh, just recently this month for $2 each, so that was a nice little score. Enduro, Human Cannonball, Combat, and Air Sea Battle. I got those for 2 bucks each. Bridge, uh, that's another bridge. I have two bridges. Mountain King, Tunnel Riders, and Solar Fox. And then down below there, I have Pole Position and Snoopy and the Red Baron. And then there's some kind of miscellaneous games that don't have labels behind there. And you can see my Atari 2600 joystick here and a copy of Miss Pac-Man. Okay, moving to the right, guys. We have one of my rarer games in the collection. It's Complete in Box Wall Ball. Atari Age has that listed as a 7 out of 10 on the rarity scale. And, uh, yeah, nice to have that. That was actually a St. Vincent de Paul find. And it's pretty cool to find a Complete in Box Wall Ball at a St. Vincent de Paul. I have a couple tokens I got at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in 2016. Below that. And then Frankenstein's Monster, nice little pickup that I got, oh, about a year ago, I think it was. And then some of the Coleco games. And, um, yeah, those are a lot of fun. I like the Coleco games. I got Carnival, Zaxxon, Time Pilot. Now, Zaxxon is actually a Sega game. Time Pilot, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, Mr. Do, Smurf, and Mousetrap. I believe Carnival is one of the Sega games as well. Is it a Sega game? I believe so. Let me look up the label here. Uh, yep, this is one of the Sega games, too. So it's Coleco and Sega. There's two of those, Zaxxon and Carnival. And then moving over from there, I got Dark Cavern, The Kool-Aid Man, Frog and Flies, Football, another Football, and then Armor, um, Ambush, and Soccer. And then why don't we zoom in a little bit on this next set, because I do love me some iMagic. All right, here's my stack of iMagic games. And why don't we bring these out a little bit, because these are some awesome games, guys iMagic, so it was officially just Atari games initially, and then Activision came on the scene as the world's first ever third-party publisher in home video game console market. And then iMagic followed up Activision. They were the second on scene. And we got games like Atlantis and Cosmic Arc. And look at these nice kind of foil, glossy labels that iMagic used. Moon Sweeper, Dragonfire. These are all great games, guys. Star Voyager, Riddle of the Sphinx, Firefighter, and Shooting Gallery, and then Trick Shot. And then I picked this up this month, guys. And I'm kind of in love with the packaging that iMagic uses. 
Look at this. It kind of reminds me of working designs. But we got these foil covers. And look at the presentation here when you open it up. And you got the like manual and the catalog and all this like on display there. These are some of my favorite boxes, I think, in video game collecting, in retro gaming. I mean, these are up there. Now, of course, I'm partial to the Sega Genesis cases. So those are probably my favorite. But, boy, look how nice these are. I would love to get all these iMagic games complete in box. Really cool stuff. All right, and moving down to the bottom row there. Oh, and by the way, guys, Demon Attack. Such a good game. One of my, this is top five favorite Atari 2600 games for me. Absolutely love it. So below it down here, these are some of the Parker Brothers games. And we got Amador, Frogger, uh, Qbert, Popeye, um, Spider-Man, Star, two Star Wars games, and then Tutankhamen. So another cool subset to go for, those Parker Brothers games. And then I have my Atari 2600 Junior right there. And Miss Pac-Man. And that's, guys, that's the Atari 2600 collection. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Guys, I'm posting new videos every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then follow me with my game collecting adventures over on Instagram, at The Game Hunters. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. I would love to see you over there, at COE33. All retro gaming, all original hardware. Lots of fun. And then, of course, we have the community Discord, the Dragon's Lair, where you can hang out when I'm not posting videos here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.